and today we are moving Brennan in. So far, this looks very amazing. I'm so happy for you. The power has gone out. Can you see behind me? Here they are. Happy birthday! I don't know, like sorority girls? That's not how it is. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill, and this is It's the Donnellys. Thank you so much for watching. We are today in Tallahassee, Florida, which is where Florida State University is. That's where Brennan and Katie both go to college. And today we are moving Brennan in. We drove up yesterday, and he stayed in his um, house for the first time last night. And I'm going to pick him up because he left some stuff in a storage unit. So we're going to pick that stuff up and then um, take it back to his house and get him all situated. All right, I picked up Brennan. He had his first night in his house. How'd that go? Pretty good. Yeah? yeah. Happy to be back? Yeah. Fantastic. Nice to have my own little living space. Excellent. <clears throat> so we're here to pick up his stuff that, remember, that he stored. And guess what? As it turns out, Keaton is also staying the same place where Brennan stayed last year and he's here moving in. We just have the bottom. <laughs> Alright, this is the stuff that Brennan had in storage and we are taking it back over to his apartment now. Love a lot. Job, B. After about, how long was that, Brennan? An hour, hour and a half? Yeah, hour and a half, maybe two hours. Really? Yeah. Okay. You did a good job there. Well, so far we did. Do you want to, well, we'll give a little room to her later. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, but so far, this looks very amazing. I'm so happy for you. All right, let's go eat lunch. Oh, now we're at Costco. I was getting food. Time to get him some food. All right, so we might have to run the frozen fruit and the, Last. the shakes. Oh, right. And the yogurt for the shakes. We have filled up our cart with things that Brennan thinks he can fit in the fridge and that he'll eat and the meals he's going to make. The only thing is, the power has gone out. Can you see behind me? The power has gone out in the store. So I'm not even sure we're going to be able to check out. They're going around closing all of the freezers and everything. Um, most of the time when the power goes out, it just blinks and it comes back on kind of immediately. This has been about a good 10 minutes now. So I'm hoping we're gonna be able to check out. Um, if not, I don't know what happens. I'm not sure what we do in that so case. So this one we might have to do is, I've got something going on at six o'clock, but okay. I'm gonna be there probably five, 5.30 before so I can get everything set up. What time is it right now? It's 4.10. Okay. So we might just run this home. Yep. Put it in the freezer and just do Target either after that or tomorrow or just like, yep. I'll go by myself or something. Okay, maybe after that and before um, dinner. Okay, let's see, yeah. You guys, I thought I was gonna have so much time here, but yeah. honestly, the time goes so quickly and there really is so much to do. Oh, can, oh, let's try to get Q-tips and uh, hanger things for the and shower. Shower curtains and curtain hangers and bar soap and um, maybe uh, canned chicken, we're looking for canned chicken. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, um, we're gonna see if we can check out. Oh, it looks like they're checking people out. Nice. That's good news. The line's probably terribly long. All right, here we go. We have met. Ah, there's Katie and Cam. Yay, they have finished their rush day. Day dynamic five. Duo. Yeah, day day four. five, day four. The dynamic duo they are. Don't day they look alike? They look like they could be sisters. Away. They are exhausted and starving. And, and I'm also having the pee. And I'm stinky and exhausted. We're all, we're all stinky. <laughs> I've been moving in front and all day and back and forth between the, um, I don't know, Costco and Target. And I, I've been to Target four times today. Different oh, Target. No. Not kidding. CVS, all of it. So we're going to eat dinner. So let's look at our restaurant. This is so cool.
bigger one. Do you want a bigger piece than that? Though? No, I'm good with the small one. I'm pretty full. <laughs> Watch him take that whole point. Uh, yeah. Push me back. Yes. All right. Quick. We are leaving Maybe dinner. Happy day was uh, hanging out with my mom, getting my room all set up. It looks awesome. I it like does. We'll take pictures and we're gonna do a room tour tomorrow. Sound good? Love you. Hey. Brennan has an internship um, interview tomorrow. Good luck, Let's Brennan. Let's go at 7 o'clock. All right, All right, Katie, what made you happy today? Can we walk and talk? Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Good night. I'm to yoga or the taste of champagne. That's how it goes. No. What were you going to say? If you have half a brain. Okay, that's the second verse. Okay, mom's been getting the lyrics wrong to this song all day. Or the taste of champagne? That's how it goes. Cam? I think Jill's correct. No, she's not. Thank you. Yeah, you also thought that you guys were singing the same song. I know my Pina Colada song. We were singing the same one. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, Okay, let's go to the next It doesn't matter. Um, What made me happy today was going to all the houses again. Well, not all of them, but... Then I went to again. It was so much fun, and I love talking to people. And I am losing my voice a little bit, but it's just because when we talk in the rooms, they're so loud because they, for some reason, always decide to put us in like the most echoey rooms. Cam, okay, look at their old dorm. Oh, oh. It's so sad passing our old dorm because it's so there nice and big, and there's people in our room, and we can tell. Cam, okay, what made you happy today? What made me happy? Oh, and today dinner. Sorry. Was that? Chick fil A was open finally. Oh! And I got to spend my lunch with some girls and then having dinner with everyone tonight was oh, very fun. That's so fantastic. Oh. Oh, Mom's say. driving didn't make me happy. Oh. Um, I think it's funny because I love mom and I love her and I know that her driving is like driving, but um, I saw this TikTok and it was like growing up is realizing that your parents are bad drivers. Oh, that's and I really nice. resonated with that personally. But I think it's funny because like you are... Katie, you know, sitting in the passenger seat when you're driving isn't that much fun either. It's <laughs> no walk in the park. That's not true. I don't think just anybody so is like perfect at driving. Thank you. Right, but like... We all have our days. Thank you, Cam. Yeah, but... I appreciate it. Mm. Um, at some point, Kate, you're going to have to explain, um, or you might, people might want you to explain how the whole rush process worked because like we've been like filming bits and pieces and you're like, and I did this and I did that, but I don't know if the people understand how it fits into the whole schedule. Right. And we can explain it fairly quickly, right? It, was, it wouldn't take that long. Pretty much you. Well, now is a good time. I love it. Oh, I yeah, you can do it right now. If you okay, want. really quick explanation. So there's 17 chapters, um, different sororities. If you don't know what chapters means, there's 17 different sororities on FSU campus. So the first two days of recruitment, and there's 2,000 girls who go through recruitment. Yeah, the first two days of recruitment, we visit every single one of the houses, and then after the second day, we do this thing called computers. When you say visit, though, when you visit, it means you go in and you are assigned to a person, and that or that person's assigned to you and. And they talk with you and they just get to know you it's like yeah. having like a cocktail party yeah and we like cocktails catch the vibe of like <laughs> right? each other and we're actually not supposed to talk about cocktails so uh, you would have gotten a strike for that oof. anyways um so we talked to the girls about like just getting to know each other and like about their chapter and everything and so after those two days of going to all of the chapters um we rank them like so we pick our favorite 12, which leaves five left as like alternate houses. And so the next two days are spent doing those 12 houses. If, if you had a mutual agreement with match, them. If they match yeah. Us. So if I wanted to go back to Alpha 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 and they were like, oh, we want Katie to come back. Then I go to their house. But if I wanted to go to Beta Beta Beta, but they didn't want me back, then one of my alternate houses, Theta Theta Theta, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, we want her. But I didn't necessarily vibe with them. I still would go back to that house because they wanted me. Does that make sense? And, and let's be clear, too. And it's not that they want you or don't want you. It's just that they have they can only take so many people. And they're like, okay, we vibe with these people better than these people. Mm -hmm. And maybe those people vibe with a different. They, they vibe with Theta Theta Theta, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's like trying to find, like, everybody's sort of going to land someplace. And this is the way to find out where you're going to land. Yes. Yeah. So to this, we just finished 
day one and we just finished day two of that round. So me and Cam both visited 12 different facilities. That's what we're supposed to call them. But we went to 12 different chapters and had a second round, like a longer conversation with them and talked about financing. So like the invest, it's called investment round. So we talk about like what cost it would be to be part of the sorority. And so- um, and what's included. And like, like what's included, like where your dues food go. And all that stuff. Yeah. Food, philanthropy, date functions, stuff like that. And so we just finished that round. And then tomorrow morning we did our little computers where we ranked these 12, cause we can only take seven now. So tomorrow morning we'll find out what houses invited us back and which ones, ones didn't and yeah. the ones that we wanted. And so we'll probably, both of us will visit seven houses between tomorrow and the next day. And then after that, we have to narrow it down to two. Yeah, so we could get seven or we could get less than seven. Mm -hmm. It's basically, basically like how many you matched, like right. how many match, how many, like, like you said, and like, they said and they matched. It's mm -hmm. like a dating app almost <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah that's, yeah, that's it is cool. like a dating app and yes. so and sorority is such an and fraternity is such a nice way to take a humongous campus and make it smaller sorry, like yeah. otherwise also how else do you meet people right um greek life at florida state is nothing like greek life anywhere else so if you guys are like oh like they're doing sororities like they must be like ooh, like i don't know like sorority <laughs> girls that's not how it is. At Florida State, everyone loves everyone, and it's like a huge party. Like, everyone is just so happy to be, like, talking to everyone else, and there's no, it's not as materialistic as you might think it is. Like, when I was thinking of sororities before I got here and actually got to experience it, that's what I thought it was, but it is not nearly yeah, like that at all. Yeah, nothing like it. Yeah. So. It's very... All very kind and... Equitable. And uplift, and, uplifting and yeah. supportive mm -hmm. and healthy and all that stuff mm -hmm. and they make sure our mental health is like top notch the entire week so we have these good group leaders that take us around and they're called rogams and they're all part of sororities but we can't tell we can't know which ones because they don't want to swear decisions but um we meet with them at least three times a day and they ask us about how we're doing we had like one-on-ones and they're like so like how are you doing mentally? Like, how are you doing physically? Like, all that kind of stuff. And so, my rogam, Leah, I don't even know if that's her real name, but I love her. Because <laughs> um, they, like, hide their identities from us, so we can't figure out what chapter they're in. But I love her, and she's been doing, like, such a good job. I really want to be a rogam. Okay. So you bad. Really for it. It. Except it. if I, like, post it on Instagram and people happen to, like, see it. No, you're supposed to. Oh, because you can't I make I can't make private. my public Instagram private, though. Hmm. So I'll have to work that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work but out. yeah, th that's something out of their control, so. Yeah. Right. Right. But so maybe you can serve in a different way. Well, Ellie found out who. <gasps> who oh. She. she well, this is not going to be posted for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So it takes you out. Well, what was it? <gasps> She's How did she find out? She's, she found out on Facebook. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's funny. Oh, I hide your Facebooks. They probably don't think that we have. They, Facebook, you have so. Facebook, exactly. Oh, I, that's funny. Yeah, I I could not find mine on Facebook. Oh, I don't want I to. I tried. I don't want to. I want to. When well, will you find out what she what sort of she's on in? Big, day. big day? They stand on a stage, and they like have a shirt, like a Pan Hellenic shirt on. And then a like their shirt, like their sorority yeah. shirt underneath, and they take off the panelatic one, and, and then we're gonna go like, ah. oh, that's so. And you might be end up being her sister. Yeah. Yep. And you don't even How know it. Fun with that thing. Ah, that'd be so fun. And you might end up running home with other girls in your PNM group, which yes. is like my favorite thing. Like, they I, call it running home. Yeah. When you get your bed and then you find you go to your sorority. You literally run. Like home back to your house. I want to watch that. That's so cool. <laughs> I'll take a video of it. You take a video. It's so fun to watch. It makes it, fun it'll to just watch. be. It'll just be like my phone like this. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. But no, you can like this or that. You got. You got a video of that. Yeah, oh I my will. gosh. We gotta see Katie and Cam running home. Cam, you gotta film too. I will film. I promise. Are you gonna text us? Yeah. Right when you find out I've or been after? I'm texting my mom and sister like constantly throughout <laughs> the day. Yeah. Like sending them all my notes. Like. Yeah, she's been things. really good about it. <laughs> I sent you all mine the first day. My phone has been you dying did. so quickly. Yeah, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so funny. Well, you guys, comment down below any of your questions you might have about Sorority Raj. We'll answer them. And Katie will answer that. Well, will you really? 
No. Okay. I'll try. To, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I want to do a thing on Instagram where you like ask us questions, but like yeah, we should. We do can't that. answer anything like what's your favorite. Like we can't. But when it's over, you can answer questions. But you wouldn't be. You. I mean, just you can't. Do the questions you can't the answer, day. don't answer. Yeah, we could do it after bed. All right, you guys. Anyways. So that's so exciting. We hope you liked listening to what it's it's it was confusing in the beginning, but now I get it. Like now I get it. So hopefully I'm still confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to go through it though. Yeah. 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 Excellent. It all happens before school starts. So all those yeah. people who are rushing sorority came in a week and a half early or a week early? Um, a week and a half. A week and a half, yeah. a week and a half early. So they'll rush before school starts and classes start and then classes yeah. will start the very next day. Go through recruitment. We don't call it rushing. I'm sorry. I'm old fashioned. We call it recruitment. Okay. Which is kind of weird. It kind of like military. Yeah. And they also like station themselves at the different houses. Mm -hmm. Our rogams do, which also sounds military. Mm -hmm. Oh, station. Yeah. Also, I talked to a girl today whose mom was in the Air Force Academy. <gasps> wow, that's, that's cool. cool. And I was like, I really wanted to do that. That's so cool. And apparently, a lot of her friends, this reminds me of like Wanda. Wanda the <laughs> okay. None of you guys would know. <laughs> um, but her friend, her really good friend, was also medically ineligible because she was gonna get, she was gonna fly for the Navy. Oh, so you talked to her about it? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.